Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Tote. Today we're tasting wine. We are trying a champagne from a huge box called uh, Mod. Mod Selection. Look at this box. This thing is honestly kind of obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it like, just like stays down? It doesn't go all the way down? That's like the design of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, to make... No, I think it's a cool box, but I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. Let's... This is actually uh, Drake's... Drake? Yeah, Drake. Drake? Drake, Drake? Yeah. yeah, this is his... Uh, Champagne poppy. Champagne poppy. So this is, which one is this? This is the Mod Reserve Champagne. Yes. It's a non-vintage, but it came in a really cool box. No, so yeah, I'm excited. Order. Yeah. I'm excited to try it. We shall see. Um, I've never heard of Mod, so I don't know. Never heard of Mod. Um, this was released in 2019. Yeah, like January. Yeah, January of 2019. Um, originally, so there's a non-vintage uh, for this one, and then there's also a rosé that's non-vintage. Um, I guess recently they did a 2008 uh, Brut and rosé, and then they also have a Blancs de Blancs and a Blancs de Noir. Oh, so they got a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's not even a real cork. Yeah, it's a synthetic cork. Oh. Hmm. All right, so it's off the bat, got some tiny bubbles. Some tiny bubbles? Good. It says 1892. I don't know if that's when... Like the house has been around since, or like the vineyards or something like that, but uh, like how much, how much time do you have? <laughs> oh, it smells fresh though. It smells so fresh and kind of vibrant, and it has like a yeah, little, not like a, it has like a creamy mousse to it. Yeah, definitely creamy. Yeah. Um, a little bit of toasted mm -hmm. almond. Yeah, and, toasted uh, almond is a good one. That is super good. Definitely some like minerality in there. Mm -hmm. And then there's like this like almost like burnt char or something. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. getting like a burnt there's like smoky a, sort of charred thing. There's like a yeah, there's a something charred. It's almost like a like when you leave like the char on the barbecue grill and you open it up like the next time you barbecue. Oh it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like that type of char. Like the, le <laughs> the leftover char. Yeah, no, it's not a good char. <laughs> it's not a good char. But that that that's like a small finute. Thing. Finute. Finute. Yep. Finet. What is it? <laughs> minute. My finute. Finute. Fine and minute. Pat that word. There we go. New it's word. Add it to the dictionary. Word. I'm dyslexic. It doesn't always work out for me. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's pretty. I don't want to say one directional, but it's kind of just like those things, and not too much else. It's really, really pleasant, but mm -hmm. you know. Um, and how much was this? This stuff. So this stuff goes for three hundred dollars a bottle. We did not get it for $300. We did not pay $300 a bottle, but at $300 a bottle, like a synthetic cork is kind of a joke. Yeah. Um, so I, that's, I don't know what it tastes like. I'm more about like the juice that's inside. We got it for a hundred bucks because the store had like pallets and pallets of it. <laughs> really just trying they it were, felt like they were just yeah. trying to get rid of it i'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not gonna lie anyone we asked like oh have you had it they're like yeah 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 so good so, so good. good but i don't want <laughs> i i mean i don't care about all that if it tastes good it tastes good and i just tried it and it has a real stiff acidity to it but it's fairly just you know right here in the middle hmm. it's like acidic and lemony and kind of citrusy I feel like it does need to open up a little bit. I feel yeah. like it's at the right temperature, though. I think as it warms up a little bit, you are getting a little bit more um, kind of like brioche, yeah. toasty sort of. Well, yeah, notes. it is. It is coming a lot more, and the finish is getting like longer and longer. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think, like, yeah, just this temperature, I think, is great. But as it slowly warms up and opens and up, opens I think up. it's going to be a great combo. I don't think it's. It's not bad by any means. That's no, I don't think so. So uh, I have a little bit of skepticism mm -hmm. towards yeah, this. <laughs> so if you go on their website, it's like, oh, you know, mod selection, uh, founded in uh, 1892, five generation winemaker, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Like, okay, we all know that this is at, like Drake's actual house of champagne. We know that he's partnered up yeah. with some sort of house in France. Or in Champagne, um, but they're like not telling us who it is, and I find that super weird. Yeah, that is a little sus because there are like other brands out there where celebrities team up and they're transparent about where they get it from, right? And they might pull select barrels, or it might be, yeah, it just might, you know, it might only be vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. But I like when they're honest about it. This, it, it is so hard to find information about mod yeah like it is it is even on their website they don't really allude to like anything at to, all to nothing so yeah. i i had to do some sleuthing because mm -hmm. that wasn't good enough for me 
And so if you go on spitbucket.net, <laughs> they have like this like slew. Put it down below. <laughs> yeah, link down below. Um, where she like goes into her sleuth mode and she mm. thinks she's figured out what house he has mm. gotten this from. So her theory is that um, it is from Philip Martin. Um, okay. And so, so it, on the website they say like, oh, this is a highly sought after only um, the industry and celebrities can get this type of um, champagne. And so that is true with Philip Martin. They actually don't export any of their champagne. Mm -hmm. And then also they were founded in 1892, five generation oh, wine grower. Wow, that's some deep. Yeah, so she was deep like diving, deep, 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 deep in there. Huh. So yeah, that's how they're trying to kind of like market this is that it's just like, oh, you couldn't get it because it was only being sold to the industry, but now it's so highly sought after. Yeah. I will say <laughs> packaging lives up to $300. Uh, uh, a bottle. Oh, for sure. Like three hundred dollars a bottle. Packaging lives up. Bottle lives up. Uh, nose, I would say not so much. Do, I mean, I haven't had a three hundred dollar bottle of champagne, but you know, I've had some Dom Perignon and Perrier Jouet and some Bollinger. Mm -hmm. You know, and those you know are half the price. Or, yeah, you a know, Bollinger so. nineteen ninety six is like three hundred dollars. Yeah, so. so with some age on it, I don't want to come across like super negative against this. I just don't know. Like our whole thing is like, is it worth the price for us to buy again? That's why we do the show. We want to taste wine. We want to know what we should fill up our cellars with. You know? Well, so in that, in that comes into my next point is that if the house where he is getting this champagne is Philip Martin, he only sells his champagne for about thirty to forty dollars. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. No. So if that's true, they are like insanely marking this. Wine. I know the markup is crazy because it was three hundred dollars a bottle online, and then. We went into this big wine retailer and they had pallets of it and pallets of it right before New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And it was a hundred bucks. Like they're just trying to dump it. Like yeah. they had so much of it. I think with all the COVID shutdowns, the clubs are closed and this wasn't being, you know, purchased in the club. So I think they bought it a bunch of it. This is my theory, you know, all but I, I, yeah, these are all of my theories, but I think they bought a bunch of it and tried to have, you know, try and sell it out or, you know, sell a bunch of it, you know, at a discounted price, but. Yeah, I don't know, okay, so now back to the wine. <laughs> mm. Are you getting kind of like a weird, like fish scale kind of smell to it? It has a little bit of a funk. I would say it's more like a fish oil now that you say fishy. It's like, you know, when you get those fish oil capsules? Yeah. That they give to dogs and stuff like that for, yeah, they're like health or whatever. Or coats or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I'm getting like a weird, for me it's fish scales, but yeah, I'm getting like a weird fish scaly. I mean, the taste is really, really nice though. It's not insanely complex and it's not like transcending, but it has this citrus, mm -hmm. this orange citrus that punches you and then maybe like some tangerine. Mm. You know, I feel like it's in between an orange and a tangerine, but a million toward, more towards the tangerine side. But it's really, really good. It's really fresh and vibrant and I like that. Mm -hmm. The finish is honestly pretty long. It is long. But there's no little bumps or anything else in there, you know, that are like, you know, the complexities that I look for in a three hundred dollar bottle of wine. Yeah, I would um, pay thirty five bucks for this. I would say this is like a fifty dollar bottle. I have not paid yeah. anymore. I would say this is fifty bucks. So on the nose, not living up. Like I said, the cork, super bummer. Um, <laughs> But, but it tastes pretty good. But it tastes it tastes, it tastes good. good. It just doesn't live up to what even we paid for it. I think at a hundred bucks. Oh, I don't, no, I don't think that this is a hundred dollar champagne. No, at all. but I mean, if someone else, I mean, they were not picking up on something. So I think if anything does change in the rest of the bottle and the second glass is way better, the third glass is way better. We will definitely come back. I just feel like they're lying a little bit to uh, to their consumer, you know. So I don't like that. Yeah, it feels dishonest. It does feel a little dishonest. So. We will come back if anything changes. All right, second glass here. First glass did start to open up in yes. a nice, nice, pleasant way. So I think we're going to give this one a redeeming, you know, we're going to see yeah, if it's going to redeem itself. Second shot, second shot. Yeah, because the nose is definitely more floral, but there's that weird fish smell. I know, it is more, I can't get that fish scale smell yeah, out. It it's is weird. just like not the best like i don't know like i wouldn't say this is an off bottle it just i think it just has that on the smell yeah i just think that, that <laughs> i mean there might be some there could be some bottle variation too and something like that 
I mean, based on how many bottles we saw at three different total wines, like they make, they made a lot of this. They bottled yes. a lot of this. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they had probably 300 bottles in one store. You uh -huh. know? So I'm just thinking about how much does the country have? You know? <laughs> <laughs> how much do the clubs have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. But the, the taste is, I mean, it's opened up more and the finish is really long. So I do mm -hmm. like that, but it's just not too terribly complex. Like it's just, it's not a $300 champagne. It's not, but I think that if you enjoy um, like really like yeasty, buttery yeah. champagnes, I do think that you would like this. If you could, it is. Yeah, if you could get this at a discount below a hundred bucks, Definitely worth a try. For sure. Fun to bring out around friends because it's got a story and yeah, it's got the you sweet. Talk about it's it. got, the, got the sweet box. Oh, you got that champagne from Drake. Yeah, you got That's Drake cool. champagne. The cool factor is cool factor. is up here. Ten but out of ten. I don't think that the stuff inside of the bottle lives up. It's still really enjoyable. I still say it's a fifty dollar bottle at best. And I did see some someone left a review about it, and they did get the bottle for fifty bucks. So I think if you can get the bottle for 50 bucks, I would tell them yeah. to do it. If you can get the bottle without the box, I mean, the box probably costs, you know, $30 oh, I know. for all I this it. anyways, you know, like, like they're spending a lot of money on the presentation. You know, but I, I do want to add that I, I think that the taste has really come around. Mm -hmm. You know, we were noticing a lot more like yellow pear notes, yeah. definitely more yeasty, buttery, toasty. Um, so the champagne itself, I don't think before I was being a little bit negative, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's actually pretty tasty, just not for that price point. Yeah, the price point is what's throwing the whole thing off. But if you think, uh, you know, we missed the mark on it, let us know. If you've ever had Drake Champagne, let us know. If you ever had any other celebrity champagnes, let us know, because uh, they're kind of interesting to us. Some of them are really, really good. Some of them are not so good. Not so good. Uh, but other than that, make sure you get out there and taste some wine. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you're trying. Let us know what we try next. If you got any recommendations, all that stuff. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. Our handle is Tasting Wine Official. Yep. See what we're drinking. Yep. Uh, see what we're buying. See what we're stocking up on. All that stuff. Uh, but other than that, I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Synthetic cork just... on a three hundred dollar. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. We'll see.